is putting together an event for this weekend from Jackson Pride, Rebecca Calkins. Hi, Rebecca. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So it sounds like a uh, Valentine's event is being yes. organized for uh, Jackson Pride. Yeah, so we're going to be at Art 634 for a Valentine's dinner and dance, uh, spaghetti dinner, cash bar, live DJ. DJ Ald is going to be um, playing music for us, and we'll have lots of photo opportunities as well. So uh, we just thought it would be a good good way to get together, celebrate queer love, and, um, you know, allies welcome, of course. So it'll be a lot of good time. Nice. All right, let's talk about the amenities. Uh, spaghetti dinner, what are the mm -hmm. details on that? Uh, my uh, girlfriend is actually cooking it, and oh, she's okay. got a culinary degree, so <laughs> it's supposed to be great. <laughs> All right. And then you'll have a bar. <laughs> yep, cash bar. Um, Art 64 will be man in the bar, so I'm mm -hmm. sure they'll come up with some cocktail of the day. Uh -huh. And it's uh, in the upstairs yes, space? Yes, it is in the upstairs, so it is not handicap accessible. Okay. Um, but it's a, it's a good space. Is it's it the space room. where uh, the Jackson School of the Arts used to be? It's in the front. It's where Bala, the yoga place, used to be. Okay. Yeah. All so right. the front section. All right. So Valentine's dinner uh, and dance. So is this something that you're designing for couples or yes. can people come by themselves? Of course they can come by themselves. Okay. I left it open. So it's $50 <laughs> per couple or 25 each. So you can buy an individual seat. Um, we're just going to have a good time. So mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be any sort of, you know, it can be all friends, it can be a Valentine's, you know, I just celebrated Galentine's, that's a whole thing, okay. right? Just your girlfriends uh -huh. and all that sort of thing, so it can be a, just a celebration of love in general. All right, well, we want people to know that they won't be the only wallflower there if they could, right. don't come as a couple. Exactly. All right. Uh, so make reservations you need to know so that yes. you can have the food. Uh, so, mijacksonpride.com. Okay. And the Saturday mm -hmm. at Art 6.34, what time will it start? Uh, six o'clock. Six o'clock. Uh, and the dance, the dinner and then the dance? Dinner or? and then dance, yeah. Okay. It'll be fun. All right. Well, don't load up on carbs before you come. <laughs> or maybe you need to work them <laughs> off. <laughs> All right. Well, what's the year look like for uh, Jackson Pride? What uh, events are you planning this yes. year? We're, we're staying busy. Um, we've started a book club again. That's fourth Tuesday of every month at the mm -hmm. library. Uh, we're reading Gender Queer this year, which is one of those banned books. And then our, of course, big festival is June 29th. Uh, we moved it back to June. Everyone <laughs> was concerned that we're having a Pride Fest in August, so we moved it back to June. That's the last Saturday of the month. And we're already looking for vendors. So be sure to check it up on our website, mijacksonpride.org. All right, well, let's talk about the uh, the rainbow, reading and watching the rainbow. Yes. So this is something I think that's been around for about a year. You yeah, we've kind of gone back and forth, and we've made it an all-ages book club. That way okay. we can wa read some YA books, some young adult books. We can read some adult books. We can kind of switch back and forth. Um, but, uh, yeah, we've been read reading and watching. So we watched Nimona, which is a, a Netflix movie that has mm -hmm. some queer elements, mm -hmm. so we're, we're switching back and forth. That way you don't have to read something big, you know, mm -hmm. every month. So people should be prepared with the book ahead of time or not? Or just, just show up and ha have a good time. We'll have snacks and then um, you can pick up the next book or pick up, mm -hmm. figure out what our next movie is, help us pick our next movie. We're always looking for recommendations, so, and we're downstairs in the auditorium, so. All right, at Carnegie Branch. Yes. And then uh, in June, because this moved, uh, I think Jackson uh, Pride Fest started in June, then got bumped yeah, to, to August. August. And we weren't the only ones. Lansing moved too. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> but we decided, we fell to peer pressure finally. We're back to June. Um, we picked the last Saturday, so we shouldn't compete with any of the big Pride festivals. But um, we'll be out in the park. We'll have food trucks, live music. Um, I'm working on some kids stuff, some teenage stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was saying there, it's an adult size bounce house. So the teenagers can hang out there. <laughs> okay. And it starts, uh, has in the past with a parade. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we meet at consumers and we walk down to Blackman park. Um, we're always looking for unique people that want to walk in, in that as well mm -hmm. in all kinds of get ups. I love the outfits. I love seeing the outfits. So it's quite the fashion, fun. quite the fashion show. That's right. And then you've had uh, entertainment, uh, an entertainment stage at this event. Yeah, yeah, we're still working on um, 
on different bands and things. So if you are interested in playing, you feel free to check us out there. Email us there as well. Um, we'll start off with the DJ, though. He usually welcomes you into the into the parade, mm -hmm. from the parade into the festival grounds, and then do a little DJ dance party before we get into some bands. So. And what types of uh, vendors uh, are you looking for? Food vendors and things yeah, like that. Yeah, we'll need some more food, food, a couple more food vendors, and then mm -hmm. you know snacks and and tchotchkes and crafts and all the things. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, we didn't have a lot of vendors last year. It was a lot of nonprofits, which we still love them. We still mm -hmm. want all the nonprofits there sharing their resources. But uh, people come to spend money, and I think we left some money on the table for people. So <laughs> <laughs> let's bring some more vendors. And, um, yeah, your crafters, your bakers, um, all kinds of little things. And you, I think last year you had your uh, Pride Picnic in June, so are you going to move? Are you going to swap uh, places with uh, the parade? And yeah. Move that to, uh, what August? Yeah, we'll move that to August. So we had a, a family-friendly picnic, and that was just just lunch and lawn games. Yeah. So we moved that to the to August, and that could be more of a back-to-school activity, um, getting getting the kids ready to mm -hmm. go back to school. All right, and I know you're always looking for uh, sponsors, supporters, members. Oh yes, we have the yeah. call for sponsors is also on our website as well. Um, and then if you want to join the planning committee, what else should we be doing besides book and movie club? Uh, we're always looking for volunteers as well. All right, once again, the Spaghetti Dinner, Valentine's D Dinner and Dance this Saturday at Art 634. And you can uh, make your reservations scanning this QR code or visiting your website, mijacksonpride.org. There we go. And then the next thing is the parade, or the uh, Pride yep. Fest mm -hmm. on June 29th. There we go. Awesome. Well, I hope you have a nice turnout and a nice event. Yeah, sounds good. All right, thanks for coming in today. Thank you. From Jackson Pride and uh, the various activities of 2024, Rebecca Calkins. Well, that's it. We've run out of time. Thanks to Rebecca and everybody with us on the show today. Uh, we will be back here though tomorrow. So join us uh, for the morning show when we have joining us from the health department, Holly Flickinger and Casey Howard. From the Y, Sean Nutella with a construction update and Jason Tingley from Patriot Pest Control. Tomorrow afternoon, Dave Page and Max Wellinger from Raymond. Beth Kuiper from the DVA with Nicole Taylor from the city of Jackson. Ben Creech from Paragon. Rachel Buchanan from Experience Jackson, and the uh, Chamber Award winner from Obtain Graphics, Lance Cuffle. That's all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.